Hi, my name is Sarah Drafee, and I'm a graduate student in Nutrition and Dietetics at NIU. And if there's one thing that I know as a student is that it's not always easy to plan ahead on meals, whether it's a hectic class schedule or a full workload or simply a lack of motivation. Sometimes it's really hard to get creative in the kitchen after a long day. But one of the best ways to avoid this is to set aside a little bit of time each week to do some cooking for the week ahead. So for me, um, I rely on my weekends for this. I tend to have a little bit more time to work with, so I'll set aside a little bit of time. The most common meals that I tend to prepare are dinners, since those seem to be uh, the hardest ones to cook on a day-to-day -day basis with a busy schedule. So today, we're gonna be preparing a dinner. Um, we're gonna be making a very easy and healthy crock pot chili. So this make-ahead meal only requires really a few minutes of preparation time. Once everything's in the crock pot, you can just let it go for a few hours and that frees up some time for you to go work on other things. So you're really killing two birds with one stone here. And in the end, you're gonna have a delicious dinner plus leftovers. You can take what's left over, divide it out into individual containers, throw it in your freezer, and now you've got meals to pull from for a week plus in just a few minutes of prep time. So we have all of our ingredients here. It's really just a matter of taking them and putting them into the crock pot. It's that simple. So to start off, I have a few different varieties of canned beans. I've got a black bean, kidney beans, and a white bean, about a 15 ounce can of each. And you can add in other beans depending on your taste preferences. But beans are great. They're a really great um, low fat protein source. They're also going to add a little bit of fiber, which is going to help keep us full after a meal, and it's really good for digestive health as well. And as for vitamins and minerals, uh, beans tend to provide a lot of the minerals and vitamins that we tend to lack in our diets, so phosphorus, magnesium. Um, they also are a really great source of iron, so for vegetarians and vegans who might lack that iron in the animal protein sources, beans are a really great alternative for that. And to boost the protein content of our chili, I've got about a pound of ground turkey that we're gonna add. And ground turkey is gonna be a little bit leaner, um, less fat than your typical ground beef. So adding in that protein, again, is gonna help keep us full. It's gonna add a little bit of bulk to our chili. Um, to this, we're gonna add a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, and we're gonna keep the liquid in there. And we're also going to add a six ounce can of tomato paste. So canned tomatoes, much like fresh tomatoes, are really great low calorie. Uh, they pack a lot of vitamin C and fiber. Again, that fiber is showing up. And one thing that's great about canned tomatoes is that they're also a really great source of lycopene, which is a type of antioxidant. So those antioxidants are really going to help our bodies repair um, damage and they're also good as a protective measure against certain diseases. So using canned tomatoes and the canned beans makes this a really handy recipe during those winter months where some vegetables might not be in season or they might cost a little bit more and these are going to last in your pantry for a while. So you can go to the store, stock up when these are on sale and then just pull them um, as needed. So to finish off our crock pot chili, I'm just going to add a handful of spices to really jazz up the flavor. So we're adding three tablespoons of chili powder and a tablespoon of garlic powder and a tablespoon of oregano. And again, you could feel free to play around with this, uh, add in some extra chili powder if you like a little extra spice, or you could really experiment with any other herbs or spices that you might prefer. So not only are these spices going to give us great flavor, but they're also going to give us more of those antioxidants. So again, we're helping our bodies um, protect ourselves from damage and um, helping it recover from stress. So. Uh, the final step is going to be adding just about a cup of water. You could add in uh, different broths as well. This is really just going to help pull everything together, give our chili a little bit more um, body. So we're going to take this. You can cook it on high for about five hours, um, making sure you open it, mix it occasionally, and then turn it down to low and let it simmer for an additional hour. So again, 
throw everything in super easy and then you can kind of just let it go on your own go do your own thing so now for those long days where you come home and you don't want to spend time cooking all you have to do is grab one of those containers out of the freezer and you've got a nice warm and healthy dinner for any night of the week enjoy